Thanks for joining me, I'm Aaron Rutten, and in this video, I'm going to be unboxing and setting up the Wacom Cintiq 16. That's coming up next. So here's the box that the Cintiq 16 comes in. I'll go ahead and unpack the box and we'll go through each item one at a time. The display comes in this pouch here. I'll go ahead and take it out. And this is both a screen and a drawing tablet, or a screen that you can draw on. If I flip the tablet over, on the back are folding legs, and at the top there's a compartment that we'll use to attach the cables. Let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that are included. We have an instruction manual and a Wacom Pro Pen 2. There's also a power brick and the 3 in 1 cable you'll use to connect the Cintiq to your computer. One end will attach to the back of your Cintiq, that's the flat end here. The other end has a USB cable and an HDMI cable, you have to connect both of these. And then of course there's the power cable that you'll have to connect as well. So I'll go ahead and connect all of the cables here. I'll connect the power cable to the power brick, and then connect that to the AC. To connect the cable to the back of the Cintiq, you'll want to flip it over. You may want to put it down on a soft cloth so you don't scratch your screen. This little compartment at the top lifts up and then folds out, and that's where you're going to attach your cable. It's pretty simple, the flat part goes in the flat hole and you wanna make sure the cable goes through this little groove here and then just snap the cover back on. Now I'm going to be attaching the optional stand. You could use this without the stand and just use the legs that fold out on the back. The stand is pretty simple to attach. There's a VESA mount plate here and the stand itself. It also comes with these rubber feet which I believe are to support a different model of tablet. So we don't need those, but we do need these screws and a screwdriver of course. You can follow the instructions or you can just follow this video. Now I'm gonna take my own advice here and I'm gonna lay down a cloth to set my Cintiq on. That way I don't rub my screen on something on the table like a piece of dirt or dust and scratch my screen before I even get to draw on it. Now I'm gonna take that square plate and I'm just gonna line that up with the four holes on the back of the Cintiq and screw them in. You wanna make sure you screw these in so they're fairly tight since this is going to be attached to the stand and now I can attach the stand to the plate. Now, this little tab that you use to engage and disengage the stand, you want that to be facing up because you're gonna have to reach up and over your tablet. I accidentally put it on upside down the first time. So this is the right way to do it with that lock on the top side of the tablet. And that's it, the stand is attached. These rubber feet on the stand and on the tablet are going to help grip your desk and keep your tablet nice and stable. So now we can go ahead and just set it on its feet. Here's how it looks from the back side attached to the Cintiq. As I mentioned earlier, we have this little locking mechanism here. All you have to do is just lift up on it and that disengages the lock. And then when you let go, the tablet's going to stay locked into that angle or that position. As you can see, I can get a lot of different angles. I just reach over the top, disengage the lock, lift it up to where I want it and let go. It stays in place. And that makes it really easy to find the perfect angle because you may want to switch on the fly from flat down on the table to more vertical like this. You can do that quite easily without a whole lot of effort. Now all you need to do is attach the HDMI cable to an HDMI port on your computer and attach the USB part of the cable to a USB port and plug in the AC power cable. Turn your computer on and turn the tablet on using the power button. Then use your computer to go to Wacom.com and download the driver for the Cintiq 16. Once the driver is installed, you may need to reset your computer. Once it's rebooted, you'll have this welcome screen here that you can follow. This is a quick guide that'll walk you through some basics. You can also register your tablet, which I recommend doing. You'll also wanna look in the Wacom Desktop Center, which has been installed on your computer. You may wanna to update to the latest driver if there's a new driver available. You can also access different properties for your Cintiq 16. If I click on Cintiq 16, there's pen settings, pen calibration, on-screen controls, and so on. Let's start with pen settings. I'll make sure the Cintiq 16 and the Pro Pen are selected. I can set the pen pressure here to be softer or heavier. I can set properties for the eraser, and I can calibrate the cursor to the pen tip. I can also turn Windows Ink on and off. If I go to Function, and I look under display toggle, here's where I can choose how the tablet is going to work in relation to the other monitors on my screen. If I go to on-screen controls, I can program a bunch of on-screen buttons to perform various shortcuts and commands. And if I have the optional EK remote, I can program that to use shortcuts in any number of applications. 
And these are individual commands per application. So I can have different commands for Corel Painter than I do from Clip Studio Paint and Illustrator. Down at the bottom of the Wacom Tablet Properties is an Options button, which has a few other options that you may want to take a look at as well. Now you can use your Cintiq 16 as your main display or as a single display, but you can also use it in a multi-monitor setup. If you are using it in a multi-monitor setup, you may want to go into the display properties for your computer and arrange your monitors in a way that makes sense depending on how they're set up on your desk. If text and images on your Cintiq are way too big or way too small, you can also set the scaling and this will make everything bigger or smaller on the screen. You may also want to mirror your displays or extend them. I'll leave that up to you to decide what works best. But typically for me, I make the Cintiq my main display if I'm gonna be drawing on it most of the time. That way my applications I'm using will be working on that display. And that's it, now you can draw on your Cintiq. You will of course need an art application. I'm using Krita in this example here and Krita is a free art application available at krita.org but there's lots of other applications that are great to use as well. So that's it for the unboxing and setup. I am going to put out a separate video where I review the Cintiq 16 in detail. You can check that out if you're interested in learning more. You can buy a Cintiq 16 and other types of display tablets at kit.com slash Aaron Rutten. I'll put a link down in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. That way you don't miss my new reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.